And here's our new video. Here we go. We can see a couple things right off the bat. Uh, zooming out, we have a bunch of NPCs and things on the map. If you're looking just to get an idea of, you know, like, visually, a uh, quick snapshot, you got the woods here, you got some mountain here, there's a uh, goody hut here, iron ore deposit here, so that's pretty useful, and the twilight bees, so you can research things that uh, allow you to take advantage of those skills. Um, seeing that this is actually a relatively decent spot to set a city, uh, I think we're going to do that instead of just exploring purely. Um, now again, there's a goody hut down here, and then there's a goody one up here. Clicking on our lord, we can see he's got a speed of four, and some other stats, seven for, well, seven and a half due to strength modifiers, and he's got a seven-one defense, so he can fight if he had to. As it is, we have a couple people out here, um, and if we look at them to see what they do, les woos. The higher gammonon of notable people indicates that he provides two research points per turn. That's actually useful. That's something we want. We need research. So acquiring people with research is advantageous. Um, now, one other thing is uh, when you set up a city, it's going to cost you a little bit of money to build things. Um, and so you got to take that into account. You have a budget, as it were. Um, I'm going to actually build a city and then actually I'm going to acquire both of these people in sort of a fell swoop type of situation. Click on him, recruit, and uh, sure 80 gold sounds fair and I'd be happy to have you. And uh, he's willing to join me for 40 gold and he's the one who uh, indicates that I'm the fool. I'll take his wealth and he can do whatever the hell he wants afterwards. In the meantime, I am going to uh, go ahead and become a leader <laughs> and uh, found a city. So let's see what happens when I found our first city. Atreya would be better than Atreira. All right, so our capital city will be known as Atreya. And it's going to cost us essence. There's no value to it right at this time other than spell related stuff. And spells aren't really in this beta, so that's fine by me. Uh, now, we've got a couple things we can do. We can build to enhance the city. Um, there's a workshop option, a command post, which you need in order to actually, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, command post in order to actually build troops. Um, so it's valuable, but early on, it's not critical. I just have uh, nothing else I can do at this point except for send my people into different locations. As as the leader here, I know I need to turn on the grid and look at the goody hut, and I see that is something that's useful. What did I find? A rusty sword, a bastard sword. So when I go to him, look at Lord Arias, it's a better weapon than my old Ariel sword. So, good for us. And in the next video, uh, we'll continue our exploration of the land um, beyond what we've done right at this point. Uh, let's see. Says he's got 0.1 movement left. We'll take advantage of it and go get some coin. And look at that. We actually, there's some fertile land over here. Um, that could be useful, and there's also some goodies. So if I were to set up another city, and if you actually remember from my previous video, um, this actually, this area was founded by somebody else, so this is one of those early starting areas. Uh, beyond that, I think I'm going to hit next turn and start a new video.